Hi guys. Well, you cannot see me today. Apparently, okay, now, now it's it's working. Yes, weird thing, I think. <clears throat> okay. Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi Ada. How are you? Fine, teacher. Are you happy? Of course, you have to. I'm very happy. Sorry? Very happy, Lynn. Okay, excellent, excellent. That's good, that's good. Hello, Luis, Julia, Wilfredo, and Walter. Thank you guys for being here. Hi. Welcome, welcome, guys. Hi, Walter. Tell me, Hello, I want to Julia. How are you guys? So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, that, that's good. That's good. What about the rest? A little tired. A little tired. Okay, I can yeah. you understand that you guys feel tired. I mean, Okay, Gabi, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to we're going to start. I'm gonna start with the with the attendance list because there is a lot to cover today. Well, a lot, a lot to explain and practice. Okay. Let me see, Ada Patricia. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. All right, she's not here yet. It's too early. Ana Selmi Chavez. She's not here either. <clears throat> Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Hello, teacher, present. Hi. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Caldames. No, not yet. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Hi, Gloria. Present, teacher. Guadalupe Carmen. Present. Hi, hi. Jose Ernesto Osorio. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. No. Lo Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Luis uh, Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. No. Ofelia Mariana Arce. No. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Rosalina Salgado de Serrano. No. Sandra Gladys Mendes Ramirez. Sandra Gladys. No. Carolina Hernández. Is me present. Yes, Susan. Yes, yes, <laughs> thank you. Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Zulma Rosabra López. Present. Hi, Zulma. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. And uh, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy? No. Okay. Second day that these three people don't show up. Hopefully they will join us later on. Okay. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the class. Today we have a few things to talk about. And uh, there's some material that we have to cover. And there's a topic that we have to find a way to break down, you know, because, because it is 
a little a little complicated to understand. I mean, the structure is quite challenging. So let's see what happens later. What happens later on? All right, uh, guys. I am sharing with you. I'm sharing the presentation with you. Okay, and in the presentation I have today's topic, which is introduction to the third conditional. That's the topic that we will be talking about. Introduction to the third conditional. This is class number 11. Today is Thursday, July the 7th, 2022 or 2022. Okay. And this is the, what we're going to be talking about. Okay. Later on. We will talk about that later on. Okay. Guys, let's just start with the book on page 22. On page 22, you're going to see that we're still working with unit number two, management and conflict. We're still talking about management and conflict. <clears throat> so today we continue here on page 22. Okay, page 22. And let me read what the objective says. Okay, look at this. It says, I will be able to apply communication communication and emotional intelligence strategies to handle conflicts. I will be able to apply communication and emotional intelligence strategies to handle conflicts. Okay, that's what we will be talking about. Okay, well, that, that's what, what we're aiming or what we want to achieve. Okay, and then guys, hi, are you with me? There are two questions here. The first question says, what is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? And the next question says, what is emotional intelligence? Is it a help, helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? Okay, guys, two questions, your answers. What is an example of, of subordinates using emotions to manipulate other people. Could you please like share your thoughts, your opinions, your experience? Anybody? I think it's um, when you talk to you, oh, hello. I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay, I'm sorry. I think is when when you're talking uh, or sell more specific if you feel bad mm -hmm. or healthy maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. Continue. Continue. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or when or when the people make feel like a victim. Uh huh. They victimize themselves. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue, people. Continue. Continue. I would love to hear more opinions about this question. Guys, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I think uh, one example could be when when it's raining and 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 you live uh, far from the office, so you go to the to the post and you said, uh, "Please let me let me leave early. If not, I, I, I'm gonna get sick because I." I I don't know, I will be in the rain. Okay, that's, that's you, right? That's your experience. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, you, okay, you've done it, right? Okay, I get it, I get it. All right, let, thank you for your answer, Julia. People, for the ones that just got joined us, we're discussing the questions here on part number one. And we're currently talking about the first one. What is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? That's the question we are discussing, okay? Thank you, Susan, and thank you, 
Uh, who was it? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, uh, Julia. So, thank you, Julia, for for letting me know. All right, guys. More opinions. That is true. With something um, personal is affecting them. That the first thing that they do is they they will try to get a, a medical leave. And with when that happened, well, I try to uh, talk with them and have a a conversation. And sometimes I provide like a half of the day so they can feel better and think about it. And in that way, I avoid uh, consecutive absences. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. That's true. Thank you, uh, Luis, for your opinion, for your answer. That's a good one. What about the rest, guys? We are here waiting for your participation. Who is Huawei J9A? Y9, sorry. Who's Huawei? Who is Huawei? No? Okay, hi, Wendy. Hi, teacher, good evening, nice to meet you. Good evening, welcome. How are you? Thanks. Are you happy? Yes, teacher, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry because I I have a problem uh, where I, di I didn't uh, start with the all, all teams in, in the in the level, but for me, uh, very nice. Uh, nice to meet you. It's there here, and uh, I hope um, clear more. All right, and that's a good one. That's a good objective, okay? Thank you for being here, welcome. All right, my name is, people, what's my name? Do you remember my name? I think you don't. My name is Roberto, okay? There you go. Okay, excellent. No, it's not Roberto, okay? People, let's continue. With the second question, let's go straight to the second one. And it says, what is emotional intelligence? Is it a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? Guys, what is emotional intelligence? But this one I would like, I would like to get more, even more opinions than the previous, the previous question. So guys, what is emotional intelligence? Is when you don't take the things uh, personal. Okay. When you don't take uh, or, or things seriously, okay, or personal, like, like what you said. Okay, what else, people? Yeah, emotional intelligence is when you have the control of your feelings and emotion and don't, uh, and don't, you don't, uh, you, you don't hurt an other person with that kind of intention. Because you have the control. Okay, okay, that sounds fair. Excellent. Thank you very much. Another person. Thank you, Pamela, for your opinion. I think is when you know how handled a stress situation mm -hmm. and you a handle the emotion before you talk or act. Okay, before you talk or before you act. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you, Rosabra, for your opinion. People, continue. Yes, Walter, Jose, pa, uh, no, Pamela, yes, yes, participated. Gabriela, Edwin, Sandra, hello, Gloria. People. I, I think is the the skill that help us to uh, control and organize your emotional and also uh, help to understand the emotions of others. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent, thank you. People, continue. Teacher. Oh no. 
Go ahead, Rosalind. Okay, no. You and Ada. Uh, emotion, emotional intelligence uh, is uh, the ability to recognize, regulate, and understand emotion. Okay, okay, that's that's the, that's pretty much the definition. Thank you very much, Ada, for your um, opinion. Thank you, thank you, Rosa. Tell us. Okay. Yes. For me, it is the the way the way man the way to manage our own emotions. Mm -hmm. Um. And those, and those can be can be um, how, do, how we handle our, our own emotions, and in that way we can we can hurt the other people. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Rosa, for your participation. Is there another person? No. Teacher, uh, the, for me, the emotional intelligence depends more. Uh, you you can feel empathy, 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 empathy yes. for empathy. All, for others because when you can feel empathy, uh, you can understand mm -hmm. the the feelings and emotion the other the other uh, people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's a good one. Thank you, Wendy, for your opinion. Yeah. Anybody teacher, else? Hi. hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, is uh, I think this ability or capacity to, to make new new projects, mm -hmm. new projects, new clients, uh, amability in the in the correct uh, relation, the personally, or mm -hmm. I think. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you very much, Sandra, for your opinion. All right, we're going to continue in a few uh, seconds. Thank you guys for your participation, for the ones that have participated. And for the other ones, just wait. All right, I, I don't know why I stopped sharing the, the book, <laughs> uh, but it's here. All right, part number two, uh, it's here. Let me read it, and then you guys practice. It says, read the, read the conversation. Edward is the manager from the quality department at an email customer support agency. He's discussing the results of a quality evaluation with an employee who got a low score. Oh, no. That's me. I'm, I'm that employee. <laughs> that would be so bad. All right. Guys, I am going to read the conversation, so listen carefully. Okay, here we go. It's a very long conversation, so let's see. It says, let me retrieve your, your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is, hold on. Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. Oh no, this is not good. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your, your handle times are excellent. So we only need you to figure to figure how, how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. 
you would have you would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Or uh, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Okay, then let's finish checking your evaluation, and then I will get you through with this with the training department, so they can give you an alternative uh, and interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. It's a very long conversation. Is there a question that you don't understand from here, people? Is there a word that you don't understand? An expression? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, perfect. Thank you for listening. Now we're going to go to the groups and we're going to read or practice the conversation. But then I go, I want you guys to go to part number three and uh, also work on part number three, okay? And that's all. Just practice part number two, which is the conversation and practice or, or do part number three, which is an exercise. Okay, let's go in my, I will send uh, three people or four to each group. Three people will do. All right, there you go, guys. Go, and I will be monitoring you guys. Do part number three, please. Wilfredo, are you there? Could you please confirm if you're there? Wilfredo, hi. I'm trying to reach you. What did this is? I don't have a book in um, physical or, or virtual. Teacher, you you can uh, share the the screenshot, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. I got, got it. I got you guys. Okay. Can you see the the conversation perfectly? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Sarah again. Me, Edward, let me retry your life, your file. This is your system. Uh, sorry? It's, it's uh, let me retrieve. Okay, let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it's in your quality score. The quarter is very low. Let's look uh, at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager. It's my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I will have had a better score. Better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evolution with your manager and provide your feedback 
Your hundred times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also un unhelpful. Un unhelpful. Unhelpful, yes. Uh, if they are had listening to my question, I will have known how to answer the customer issue. The customer's issue. The customer issues. Remember. Are we okay over here? Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Good evening. Are you available to, to participate, Edwin? Of course, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, you are here. Okay, I'm here. I stop. Okay, let me, let me start. Okay, let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth fifth mom in the company, right? Ophelia, hello. Ophelia? Oh. Can you share it? Can you share the book, Edwin? Es que, uh, the problem is that como yo tengo mi, mi, mi copia, ve, yo tengo okay. mi, mi copia, ajá. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh, and physical, uh huh. Okay, let me share it with you then. Hold on, hold on. Okay, thank you. That's Here. what I do every time. Every every time that I start a course, I, okay. I copy the whole book. There okay. we go. That's that's, that's a good you. idea. Yes. Yes, yes, because uh, I write it down everything here in this copy, and and I and, and I can take it to to everywhere, and I can study. You know. Yes. Okay. Okay, you are my Ophelia. Okay. Okay. Let, let me let me try your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Okay. I wear is is this a you one inch score. I this what. Writing is very. I learn legs lop abs is carrot car footing and fin learning and find and out then dies and you are of opportunity. Opportunity. All right. This is my manager's fault. If it had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. I know, I don't know. I, I hurry, making, I, I will be everything and the evaluation I will do manager okay. and proving you favor, favor room. I do hard them. Provide you with feedback. I think our excellence, I assume we only need to feel host uh, to her. Do we want him? Uh, but, sir, my thing is also unhelpful. If they have listened to my questions, I will have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, I'm making a dab or post to increase a customer preparation and preparation. preparation and a lot of reading. Are you reading? You would have has would have that, has gotten, gotten, gotten a higher a go, higher score or a mm -hmm. uh, score if you has this would have been if you had been updated ordinary updated on on reserve process procedures procedures, procedures. 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 I had you be ready reading the new manual manual. 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 
air um no sir i haven't there are boarding i did let finish checking your evaluation and the we have i will get you through there you through torture through with the training when you train me the part so they can department so they, can, they, can, they can give you when you uh you an inter interactive digital copy of the manual okay thank you for your participation people continue with part number three please okay yes continue with part number three it's here but i'm going to go to a different group so edwin you share the questions with ophelia and ophelia will help you answer them all right okay all right all right i will okay. do it right now thank you Hi, I'm here. Number three? No, Hi, Rosa. teacher. If you have the answer, Rosa, can you please just read it? Ah, just okay. to make sure that the they are three? correct. Okay. Okay. The number yes. one. Okay. The number one. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Okay. The second, if they if they had listened to my questions. I will have no how to answer the customer's issues. And the third, the third, you will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Could I could you guys read the conversation so that I can like like evaluate okay. assess your pronunciation? Okay. I am Edward. Okay. okay. I start. And, and then I, I am Mike. Okay. Let me retry your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. <laughs> well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it careful and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my it's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also helpful. If they have listened to my questions, I will have know how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading and procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Um, I, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get your job with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. All right. Teacher? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much for, for reading and thank you for solving part number three. It was good. I was listening and it was, it was correct. Thank you. Yes. All right. And uh, yeah, okay. Thank you guys for that. Let me go to another group. I'm just two, I'm, I'm just missing two of them. I'll be done soon. All right. Go. I'm not. They are boring. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then let finish checking checking <clears throat> your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interact interactive digital copy of the manual. Mm -hmm. 
cambiamos. Ok. Um, let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it careful and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager fault if, if he has been more helpful. I will have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sirs, my team is also up, uh, unhelpful. Unhelpful, Un unhelpful. Un unhelpful. Okay. If they have listened, to my question, I will have now how to answer the customer issues. Yes, if you don't take Remember, Mike, that all jobs require constant, constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Er, I'm not sure. I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. I finished, teacher. <laughs> yes, I, I, was, I was listening to you guys. <laughs> Did you finish part number uh, three? Uh, Florcita está de oyente. Mm -hmm. She's not available in this moment. Okay, I think no. No, no, okay. What about you, Gloria and Surma? Did you finish part number three? Uh, no, only practice the conversation. Okay, then do part yeah. number three. And then I will I will come back. Okay, we will bed. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye. This is a little bit of the same compared to answer with the partner. Bye. And then we can just have to go look at the parts that are missing. Yes. 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 Bye. The first one is. Hello, teacher. I am here. Uh, have you Have you guys been practicing? Yes, we will. We, we yes, teacher. Okay, can we you, do the, the conversation you, and the last class? Here, could you please share the the, the document? The document. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I uh, this. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, could you please practice? I just want to hear you guys. Okay, I okay. can be Edward. Mm -hmm. And I can be Mike. Let me try your file. This is your first month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality for its quarter is very low. Let's look at is let's look at it carefully and find out your area of opportunity. It's my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a, be a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But, sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you had been all up your present procedures. Have you been reading the new manual? Er, I. No, sir, I haven't. 
They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I can get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of your of the manual. We lose you, Pamela. Uh -huh. Well, sorry. There, 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 is, there are some um, moments in which we lose you, like, like there is no nothing from you. You're talking, but we hear nothing. <laughs> Yes. Uh, sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, uh, probably it's probably your internet. Yes. So um, don't worry. Um, I was wondering, did you guys finish part number three? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. You did. Okay. Since the since first. Jose, yes, Jose hasn't participated the with the conversation. Jose, read, please. Okay. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Okay. Number two, if they had listened to my question, I will have known how to answer the customer issues. Mm -hmm. And number three, uh, you would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Updated on recent procedures. Okay, it's good. It's good, people. Excellent. You deserve. You deserve this. Se merecen este este sticker. No, emoji. See, see this <laughs> beer. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, people. No, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is Friday. Yes, teacher. Okay, you can stop sharing, Pamela. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing them. All right, guys. Uh, let me just finish with the last group and then we will go back to the to the main session to discuss a topic that is a little complicated, but we will do our best. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Well, well it seems your quality score, this quality is very low. Let's look at it is careful and find out your areas of opportunity. <laughs> it's my manager called. If he had been more healthy, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be re reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide you feedback. Your hand signs are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But, sir, my team is also unhealthy. If they had listened to my question, I would have no hope to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manual? Yes, hey, I know it. I have a, I have a, they are boring. Then let's you finish. You start, or me start? Wait, wait, wait. Espera, espera, Mauricio. Espera, Mauricio. Then let's finish the evaluation. And then I will get you through with the training department. So they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. Thank you, Ada, for that. And Sandra, now you can you can let Walter participate. Okay. Sandra? Yes. Okay, let me start. Let me retry to file your film on if the company right. Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. And well, it is in your quality score. This quality is very low. It's very low. Let's look at it. Hello. Hello. 
You fish? You haven't fished? Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello. Please, sir. Okay. Excuse me, a problem my connection. Please continue. Okay, no continue, Sandra. And continue, it is my manager. It's a manager, it's a manager phone. He, he has been more helpful. It will have, have a better call. Don't worry, my, I will be uh, reviewing the evaluation with your manager. I uh, provide your feedback, feedback. Your hundreds I are excellent. So we only need uh, to figure how to help you with quality. But still, my thing is also unhealthy. If they have listened to the question, I would have know how to answer the customer input. Remember, my that who you require a constant preparation and a lot already. You will have gotten a higher score if you have on the recent procedure. And how do you mean ready in the new manner? Yeah, I know she. I haven't, they are boring. Then let's finish at checking your evaluation. And then I will get you thrown with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. 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 All right. It's okay. It's okay now. I'm going to go to a different group. Okay. I'm still missing two groups. Continue practice, people. Thank you. If you had, if you have been more helpful, I will have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle ties are excellent. So we only need to figure out how to help you with quality. But sir, my thing is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer to customers issue. Remember, Mike that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You could have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent pressures. Have you been reading in the new manuals? Uh, no, I know, sir, I haven't, they are boring. Then let's finish shaking out your evaluation and then I will get you throw with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. Okay. Next one, Julia. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> I'm listening. Okay. So I'm going to be Edward and Nelson, you are going to be Mike. Okay. Let me retry your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account. Well, it seems your quality score is this quarter is very low. Let's let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. This man manager at far. If he had been more helpful. I will have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they have if they have listened to my question, I will have now how to ask for the customer issue. Remember, Mike, that our job requires 
constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, I, I know, sir. I haven't. They are born. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. All right, excellent people. Uh, I think we have a very complicated employee over here. Mike sounds like a very complicated and lazy person who lacks responsibility, right? Yeah. Excellent. I, I also checked part number three. It is correct. And uh, we're going to get to that part right now in which I will explain how, how we use this structure. Okay, let's go back to the main session and uh, we will discuss that over there. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes, let's go back. Thank you, classmates. We are back. We are back. We are Venom. Okay, people, let's continue. Thank you for your participation in part number one, sorry, part number two and three. And now we're going to get to part number four, in which I will explain how to use the conditional, I mean, the third conditional. Uh, the structure is, is challenging, okay? It takes uh, some thoughts because it's it's complex, all right. And in the part four, number four, if you want, you can go to part number four in your books and you can check the information there. We're going to read this later on. Right now, I'm going to just go straight to the presentation and uh, we're going to read a little bit, a little bit about emotional intelligence. Okay, we were talking about emotional intelligence already. And uh, well, I have like three or four. I'm not really sure how many there are. There are like four, I think. Four uh, intelligences, let's say, okay? And the first one is self-awareness. That's the first one. This is the first emotional intelligence, self-awareness, okay? Let me read and then I will have a personal practice and then we continue with the next one. If you're self-aware, you always know how you feel and you know how, emo how your emotions and your actions can affect the people around you. Being self-aware self -aware when you're in a leadership position also means having a clear, a clear picture of your strength and weaknesses. And it means behaving with with uh, humility, humility, yes, humility. All right, let me see, uh, Carla, read please. Wait, wait, is there a question people? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No, that's vocabulary. When you say self aware. Aware, consciente. Self aware. Self-aware. Yes. Weaknesses? Sorry? Did you say strength and weaknesses? Strength, fortalezas. Weaknesses, debilidades. Okay, thank you. Yes, no problem. What else, people? Behaving, teacher. Sorry? Comportándose. Comportándose. Behaving. Behaving. Okay, thank you. Yes. 
Okay. No more questions. Okay. Carla, go ahead. Okay. Sales awareness. Awareness. Is your awareness. Is your sales aware? You always know how you feel, and you know how your emotion and your action can affect the people around you. Begin self-aware when you're in a leadership position. Also mean having a clear picture of your strengths and weaknesses. Weaknesses. Uh, weaknesses. And it means behaving with behaving, you. Behaving. Behaving. Behaving with humility. 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 Okay. Thank you, Carla, for reading. Okay. Self-awareness is one of the emotional intelligences. Okay. Yes. And the next one is self-regulation. As you can see, self-regulation. The definition says leaders who regulate themselves effectively rarely verbally attack others, make rushed or emotional decisions, stereotype people, or compromise their values. Self-regulation is all about staying in control, okay? About having full control of yourself, okay? That's self-regulation that you uh, regulate or balance yourself to be in or to be under control, okay? Let me see, uh, Nelson, thank you, Nelson. Read, Nelson. Okay. Emotional intelligence, serve regulation. Leader who regulate themselves effectively, rarely verbally attach order, make sure or emotional decision, A stereotype, stereotype, A stereotype people or compromise, compromise their compromise. value compromise their values, self-regulation is all about studying in control. Okay, thank you, Nelson, for reading. Let's go to the next one, motivation, motivation or self-motivation. That's the next one, self-motivation or motivation. Self-motivated leaders work consistently toward their goals and they have extremely high standards for the quality of their work how can you improve your motivation? Re-examine why you're doing your job. It's easy to forget what you really love about your career. So take some time to remember why you wanted this job. All right, that's one thing about, about this. Okay, motivation. Uh, let me see, a person that likes, a person that likes to kick animals is going to read. Let me see. And that person is, uh, I'm just kidding people, no, 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 it's not true, okay. Gabriela, read please. Okay, self-motivated. Oh, sorry, is it me? I just, I just, I see two people, two Gabrielas. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, I had problems with my computer, so I my cell phone. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, motivations. Self-motivated leaders work con constantly toward the Consistent, goals. Consistently, consistently. Consistently toward the goals, and they have extremely high standards for the quality of their work. How can you improve your motivations? Re-examine why Re you are doing your job. Re-examine why you are doing your job. It's easy to forget what you really love about your career. 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 So take some time to remember why you want this job. You want this job, okay? Why you want it? Thank you for reading. The next one is empathy. Wendy. Wendy was talking about this. She brought this up, and she was talking about about empathy, about being emphatic. This is a good one, okay. Wendy, you're still here? I don't see you. Okay, you're still there. All right, let me read and then Wendy will read. 
empathy. For leaders, having empathy is critical to managing a successful team or organization. Leaders with empathy have the ability to put themselves in someone else's situation. They help develop their people on their team, challenge others who are acting unfairly, give constructive feedback, and listen to those who need it. Sorry. Then it says, if you want to earn res the respect and loyalty of your team, then show them you care by being empathic. Okay, people? Thank you. Uh, Wendy, read it, Wendy. Sorry, teacher, you, I, I sit down right now. <laughs> Repeat the indication, please. Read, just read. Uh, okay, empathy. empathy. Uh, for leaders, uh, having empathy is critical to managing a successful team organization. Leaders with the empathy have the ability to put themselves in someone else's situation. They help develop, 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 and develop the people on their team, challenge others who are acting unfairly, give constructive feedback, and listen to those who need it if you want to air the respect and loyalty of your team, then show them you care by be, being empathetic. Or being, be being. I'm sorry, teacher, I can hear you because you are mute. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was asking if you if you have any questions about the vocabulary from this, from this paragraph. I mean, everybody. People? No? We're good? What is themselves, teacher? Sorry, I, I don't remember that. No, themselves, themselves. Ellos mismos. Ellos mismos. Okay. Themselves. Unfairly? Unfairly, injustamente. Oh. Un unfairly, fair, unfairly. Unfairly. Okay, the last one, the last one, social skills, leaders who do well in the social skill element, in the social skills element of emotional intelligence are great communicators. They're just as open, they're just as open to hearing bad news as good news. And they are expert, they are experts at getting their team to support them and be excited about a new mission or project. Leaders who have a who have good social skills are also good at managing change and solve and resolving conflicts diplomatically. They are rarely satisfied with the with leaving things as they are, but they don't sit back and make everyone else do the work. They set an example with their own behavior. All right, and this is the last one. And uh, let me see, a volunteer, thank you. Me, teacher. Thank you, Edwin, go. Social skills, leaders who don't well in the social skills element of mm -hmm. emotional intelligence are great communicators. They're just as open to hearing bad news as good news, and they're expert are getting their team to support them and be excited about a new mission or project. Leader, leaders who have a good social skills are also good at managing change and resolving conflicts diplomatically. They're rarely satisfied with leaving things as they are, but they don't sit back and make everyone else do the, the, the work. Uh, they set an, an example with their own behavior. And that's a good one, this is a good one. All right, thank you, Edwin, for reading. Guys, do you have any questions about the social, uh, sorry, the emotional intelligence skills, let's say, or traits? No questions? Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question for you. 
Okay. When when we talk about skills, it is all. Um, let me let me see uh, about about our knowledge. Knowledge. For example, if I know about, for example, a word, um, I don't know Excel. I don't know. I know about uh, anywhere. Uh, yeah, example, you can say you can say you have skills. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All things. Yeah, pretty much all say. things. Pretty much everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah, pretty much uh, everything. Yes. Yes, because I, 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 I ask you, I ask you, because sometimes I, I can see, for example, in some announce when the people can talk about their skill. Mm -hmm. yeah, we but can it's... talk about all knowledge, knowledge. Exactly, skills, knowledge. Yes. Um, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. Okay, people, let's continue here. Uh, let's get to this. Third conditional, right? This is going to be, I will try to make it as easy as possible. And today, and today, literally, everybody is going to write an example, everybody, okay? Except for the ones that are not here, for example, for the Maria is just, on, she's just here, but she's not here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She's, she's busy, okay? And uh, I'm not really sure if Lourdes is available. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah. People, the definition is here. Guys, read with me. We use, hi, are you reading with me? People, yes. Good morning. Are you okay? Third conditional, the definition. We use the third conditional to refer to a past action that was never performed. We also express a hypothetical result. Let me read again. We use the third conditional to refer to a past action that was never performed. We also expressed a hypothetical result. Okay, people, the action in the condition, the condition, okay? The condition in the third conditional, the condition is in the past, well, past perfect. And this, this condition never happened in the past, never, okay? Never. For example, it says here, if I had studied medicine, guys, if I had studied medicine, but I'm an English teacher, so I, that action didn't happen. I didn't study medicine. I studied English teaching, okay? That's why I studied, or teaching, pretty much. So this action, it never happened, okay? This action never happened. This past action didn't happen. I studied English, so I don't work at the hospital, okay? So we're going to review the structure later on. Now I just need you to see how, how we use it, okay? And then it says, I would have the result. I, I would have witnessed a lot of blood. Witnessed means, what is witness in Spanish? It's like when you're in a place and you see something happen, that's witness, but. Testigo what? teacher. Sorry? Testigo. Yeah, exactly, thank you. Like, <laughs> as a verb, testifica, right? Yes. It's a testigo, pretty much. Okay. Okay. I would have witnessed a lot of blood. Okay. This is the hypothetical result. This result, this is, a, this is the result or an imagined result, as well as hypothetical, okay? This, this action in the past, the action with the condition didn't happen in the past nor did the other action, okay? It's just something in the past that didn't happen. Guys, how would you, how would you say this example in Spanish? If I had studied medicine, I, I would have witnessed a lot of blood. How would you say this in English, guys? 
in Spanish, sorry. <laughs> I said English, my bad. Si yo estudiara medicina, <coughs> tendría que ser testigo de mucha sangre. Mm, o si no. yo estudié. No, si, si, yo, vi, si yo hubiera o yo estudiado. estudiado. Ok. Si yo estudiara, that's the second conditional. Si yo estudiara, ok, sería, ve, vería mucha sangre, o sea, o sería testigo de mucha sangre. Ok. Uh -huh. but, but this is not the second, this is the third conditional. Ok. Si, si, si yo hubiera estudiado. Si yo he estudiado. Uh -huh. Si hubiera, si hubiera estudiado medicina. Si yo hubiera estudiado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si hubiera presenciado mucha sangre. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Yo, o, o yo podría haber presenciado. No, yo. Sí, sí, está bien. Visto también. O oh, oh, como es, decimos en El Salvador, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, va. Ok, va. Uh -huh. también, también decimos, ¿cómo es que la palabra que decimos? Oh, habido. Hubiera habido. No, okay. <laughs> okay. I see, I see. I, I, uh, a friend of mine used to say that. He used to say vido and veido. But I think he was just joking, you know. I think he was not being being honest with it. Okay, people. If I had studied medicine, I would have witnessed a lot of blood. The structure is a little complicated because of one simple thing, and that is the verb. The in verb, this case, teacher, in the third condition, they are absorptions. What do you mean? Uh, because in the reality, mm -hmm. the action didn't happen, yes? Exactly. But it's assumption, so as I assume or oh. I, I yes I understand I, I get your point. This is called lack of no no sorry. This is called lost opportunity. Ah okay see sí. okay. yes. The, the mm -hmm. models they are models son son modales so okay. solamente es el el, el would have uh, should yes. have should have suposiciones teacher exactly yes suponer. Exactly, that's your assumptions. Just, you're just, it's lost opportunity. You're just expressing a hypothetical situation, hypothetical result. Okay. okay. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Okay. This is not real. Okay. It's not real. Okay. It's just that. Uh, okay. You get it. All right. Let me just continue with the next one. And over here, hi, guys. We see the structure here, this, it, it gets a little complicated here. Hi, everybody. Look, we start the sentence, iniciamos, we start the sentence with if, okay, see, then we continue with the subject, if it is, okay, see it is, okay. If it is had failed, fa uh, PP, as you see, PP over here means past participle, pasado participio, okay, la, la P, la P, pasado participio, acá está. Okay, if Edith had failed on her thesis, okay, people, ¿cómo dirían esta en español? How would you say this in Spanish? Si Edith hubiera fallado su tesis. En su tesis, ajá, okay, pero no falló, it's just uh, something, okay. Then uh, we continue the second sentence. Hicimos la, la segunda oración con un sujeto después de la coma, as you can see. Okay. After the she coma, we... Sorry? She couldn't. She would, she would, she would have. She would she have. have new okay. opportunity. Okay. Con opportunity. She would have. Ella, okay, look at this. She would have been rather sad. Hubiera estado. Hubiera estado. Muy triste. Rather means very. Muy triste. Y en, y en negative teacher, she couldn't have been. No, no, no. No, 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 no. If it is negative, just would, would take the negative thing. Would. She, she, she wouldn't have been graduated this year or that mm -hmm. year. She wouldn't have graduated 
that year. Okay, that year. Yeah. Okay, we can change it. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. No, si hubiera, no si hubiera graduado ese, ese año. Okay. She wouldn't have graduated that year. Okay. People, this is the structure. Okay. It's the structure. The complicated, like as I was saying, the complicated part here is the verb. Okay, lo complicado es el verbo ya que va en pasado participio. We, that makes it a little complicated. Okay, but look, I have here past participle. Les explico qué es pasado participio, okay? Past participle, cada verbo, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish, cada verbo tiene cinco formas. Cinco, ahí muere, okay? En, en español no, ahí hay cien formas. 50 formas, 100 formas. It's complicated. But in English, only five. Five forms. Okay. Acá tenemos tres. We have base form, past form, and past participle. Y luego tenemos la S en el verbo y el, el ING. Okay. That's a different situation. Hay dos formas. Y aquí están otras dos. Cinco. Okay. Base form, we have withdraw. Aquí está la foto que significa withdraw. Okay, means take money out. Okay, take money from the ATM. That's what uh, withdraw is. All right, base form is withdraw. Okay, retirar. It means retirar, okay. Withdraw, retirar. This is uh, in the present, in presente. In simple past is withdrew. Okay, retiró o retiré. Withdrew. Okay, and withdrawn, withdrawn is the past participle, es el pasado participio que significa retirado. Okay, retirado. Okay, guys, sí. So, esta forma que está acá es la que usamos en el tercer condicional. Okay, en la condición y también en el resultado. Okay, yes, withdrawn, all right. I have another example, I think. This one, about past participle, we have withhold. Withhold. Uh, the base form of withhold is withhold, as you see. The past form is withheld, and the past participle form is also withheld, as you see, okay? Withhold means retener, okay? Like la renta, dinero, AFP, they with, from your salary, they withhold that money. Okay, that's what withhold is. Okay, si pueden ver, past participle is here. Okay, es el que usamos en. This is the one that we use in the third conditional. Okay, that's why we need to love this. Okay. All right. People, questions, preguntas. Guys, questions? No? Okay, here. Uh, we ha I have some verbs here in the base form and the same verbs in the, in the past participle form. Okay, file, tenemos file acá, file and filed. File significa, people, registrar. Okay, file here, All right, as you see. Present, presented. Write, written, take, taken, seek, sought, lead, led, stick, stuck, assemble, assembled, weaken, weakened, achieve, achieved, impose, imposed, send, sent, and speak, spoken. All right. Which, which part or which form are we going to use, people? Which form are we going to use for, for the third conditional? The past participle. Okay, we are going to be working with the past participle. Okay, this one. All right, that's the one. Is there a question about the vocabulary, guys? Preguntas del vocabulario. Guys? No, no questions. What is weekend or weekend? Weekend, debilitar. 
Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, assemble. What is the assemble. meaning? Assemble. Reunir. Juntar. Reunir. And impose. Impose. Imponer. Ah. Achieve. Okay. Achieve. Lograr. What else? I'm going to share. I'm going to share with you the the, the vocabulary. Stick. Sorry. A stick. Stick. Pegar. Seek. Seek. Buscar. Look for. Search. Buscar. What else? No more. Okay, people, ya hemos visto la estructura, we have seen vocabulary, estamos listos. Todos, vamos a escribir un ejemplo. Okay. Everybody is going to give me an example. Todos lo vamos a escribir, but, but, people, I'm going to guide you, okay? Los voy a guiar. Así que, relax, relax, so, take it easy. Okay, examples here. Okay, acá están los verbos abajo en amarillo. I have some examples here of the third conditional. The first example says, uh, it says, if Pamela had sent the report sooner, okay, if Pamela had sent the report sooner, she would have received the employee of the work, employee of the month award. Si Pamela hubiera enviado el reporte mucho antes o más antes, ella hubiera recibido el trofeo, la, la, Premio del mes, empleado del mes. Okay, that's the first one. Uh, the second example, Wilfredo, are you there? Can you please read the second example, Wilfredo? Thank you. No, he's not here. He's not there. Okay, he's not there. Uh, let me see. Jose, please. Thank you, Jose. Hello, teacher. Can you please read the second example? Okay. If well, Lupe Lopez had written the memo, no one would have showered up to the brief. Okay. If a Lupe, if a Lupe Lopez had written the memo, no one would have showed, showed up to the brief. Okay. Guys, give me a second. I need to get some <clears throat> some water. Excuse me. A few seconds. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. How will you say? How will you say in Spanish, of course, the second example? People, quickly, quickly, go. Si Guadalupe. Ay, okay, si Guadalupe hubiera escrito el memorando. Hubiera escrito, te nadie, nadie, nadie tendría que mostrarlo. No, no, nadie se hubiera mostrado, nadie se hubiera mostrado Ajá. o llegado a la reunión. Okay, brief es, es como, mm, mm. So how can I say this? When you go to the company at 7 a.m. and the boss tells you, hey, we have a meeting, but a quick meeting, just quick information, that's a brief, okay, un breve, like a, 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 a brief reunion, una reunión breve. Mm, okay. Brief meeting, sorry. Bye. Right. No, this, read the, second, the third example. Okay. If Carla Vasquez had taken the training, she would have been promoted. Okay. If Carla Vasquez had taken the training, she would have been promoted already. Okay. Thank you for reading. Uh, let me see. Susana, can you read, please, the fourth example? Okay. If Sandra and Susana had filled the document, 
file that has file. The box. Okay, if I some have like have file. Mm -hmm. Okay, Are if again? no, I will do it. If Sandra, if Sandra is Sandra... <laughs> no problem, no problem. Go ahead. Have filled the document. Yes. Okay, Leal. I'm sorry. Have filled the document. It will have placed the boss. Okay. If Sandra and Susana had filed the documents, it would have placed the boss. Okay. Si hubieran archivado los documentos, el jefe, o oh, eso hubiera causado placer al jefe. Okay, the last one, that's the last one, right? Sorry, I was supposed to read this one. If Walter had led the team steadily, he would have reached the goals quickly. Si, si Walter hubiera dirigido, guiado al equipo firmemente, hubiera alcanzado sus, sus metas rápidamente. Okay, people, iniciamos. Do you think, do you think that you can write down an example like this one? Can you give an example? Yes? Yes, I try. You can try. Okay. Pueden intentarlo, okay? I know it, it, is, it is complicated, pero pueden intentarlo, okay? People, vamos, yo les ayudo. Iniciamos. People, ready? Everybody, everybody is going to write an example, okay? But, but we are going to go step by step. And we start with if, so escribamos, people. Todos pongamos if, ¿ok? In the chat. No, no, no. In a piece of paper. Oh, if you want, okay. if you want, if you want, you can send that to the chat. That's not a problem, ¿ok? That's, that's good. Okay. ok. Yeah, yes, ready? Yes. Ok. Yeah. Again, we start with if, ¿ok? The second thing, the second thing is we need the subject people. Cualquier, cualquier sujeto, ¿ok? Go ahead, escríbanlo. Whatever subject you want, cualquier, cualquier sujeto. You got it? ¿Lo tenemos? Yes. El que se equivoque, if you guys make a mistake, I'm going to drive to your house and I'm going to break, destroy your laptop or cell phone or tablet. Okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, teacher. Oh, I'm don't be cool. Relax, relax. Don't be okay. cool. Don't be cool, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, people. After the subject, we need this. We need had. Okay, people. Escribamos had. Que se envíe la 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 archivo a. Uh... Hold on, my computer is dying. Second, please. Put the charger. Where is it? Found it. There you go. Okay. We are ready. So, guys, ready? Listos. Okay. Next, next. Okay. We need to, the next one. The next thing. Lo que sigue después es el verbo. The verb. But in the past participle, people, pasado participio, okay? No en pasado, no en presente, pasado participio, okay? Whatever verb you want, cualquier verbo, okay? Yes, you got it? People, you got it? Guys, yes? All right. Then the next part after the verb, we need, what we need is this, the complement. Go ahead, complement. Ready? Next. The next one is the comma. We need the comma to separate the sentences. Go, the comma. After the comma, we need another, another subject, okay? Sujeto que el mismo que está que está en la, en la otra oración, okay? El mismo. Okay, people, we continue. The next, the next thing after the subject is this, okay? Would have, oh, I forgot, would have, would have. Ese que está ahí se pronuncia would have, would have, okay? 
Americans, well, actually North Americans, they say the word as like, like this, Buddha. Okay. Like that. The pronunciation is Woodal. Woodal. All right. Yes. The next thing, the next thing we need, we need is look at lo que sigue is this. Okay. Another verb, a verb in the past participle form, please. El pasado participio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the last thing here, lo último is this. The compliments. Okay. You got it? Listos. Not it. Okay. Only, only, only second paragraph would have. Yeah, would have. Después de would have, usamos a verb in the past participle form. And then after the verb, we use a complement. Okay, that's what we do. Now, I don't believe there are mistakes, but let's see what happens. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Okay, teacher. I can give you the my exercise. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, is Wilfredo and Javi? From Madrid, he will have enjoyed the 14. Okay, the second sentence is correct, but the first one I didn't quite understand what you were saying. Could you please repeat it? You said, if Wilfredo. If, if Wilfredo and had been from Madrid. Had been. Had, had been, o sea, hubiera sido. No. Hubiera ido, you mean hubiera ido? No. Hubiera sido uh -huh. del Madrid. En Javi oh, is correct? If, no. If Wilfredo, if Wilfredo had been uh, a, Madrid, had a Madrid fan. Madrid? A Madrid fan. Walter. Yeah, okay. Walter. His wall. May I help you, Walter? Had... <laughs> hey, yeah. hello, my friend. If I have I'm been. Sorry, my, my exercise. <laughs> okay. I, I'm joking with you. Sorry, teacher, but I Barça. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Yeah, I, okay, I just yes, I, I just sent the Fredo example to the chat. Had been a Madrid fan. Yes. Mm. And the second paragraph is a uh, hit wall and had enjoyed the fourteen. Enjoy the what? Sorry. The hit wall had. Enjoy the 14. Uh -huh. The ultimate yes. 14, the 14? Uh -huh, la 14. Ah, the 14th. Uh -huh, 14. Okay. Is correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had correct. Enjoy the 14, yes. It is correct. Thank you. Yes? Thank you very much. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. People, volunteers, let's, let's continue with the volunteers. Thank you, thank you. Sandra. Okay, Sandra, and then, then Sulma. Go, Sandra. Okay, thank you. Is teacher had written the paragraph, paragraph? We would have been happy student all. Repeat, please. Paragraph. Paragraph. We would, we would have being happy student all we would have been sorry hubiéramos sido happy happy student all student all, all. What, do you, what do you mean all todos okay uh, if the teacher had written the paragraph we would have been happy Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Sulma, go Sulma, thank you. Thank you. If you had present, present to present the office. 
present you... no. attended attended uh, if you have attended to the office you will have met our new boss okay if you had attended the office not to the office okay, okay you would have met the new boss people attend means at, uh, asistir okay attend uh, normally we use attend with the with the place attend the class attend the meeting si usamos el to attend attend to that means Attend to, la palabra to cambia toda la, todo el verbo y significa poner atención. Mm. Okay, so be careful, okay? Yes. Thank you so much for your example. People, continue. Hi, teacher. Um, Wait, if she... uh, Gloria, I, I think Gabriela was talking, but... Uh, but she was saying something. Pero no se le escucha, Gabriela. No, we cannot hear you. What are the audiophones? Okay. In the meantime, Gloria, go. Mientras Gabriela. Uh, okay. If she had taken several English lessons, Mm -hmm. Come, she will be more flu flu. She would have, she would have been. She, she, uh -huh. uh, flu in conversation. Fluent. Fluent. She would have, she would have been fluent. Uh -huh. Fluent. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gabby, ready? <clears throat> yes. Thank you, Gloria, for your example. It was perfect. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, sorry. Uh, if if my brother had uh, woken up earlier, he would have arrived on time at him. Yo. He would have arrived. If you if if my brother, you said repeat it, please. If my brother had woken up woke, earlier, woken. Uh, wake woke woken. That's what you say. Wake. Woken, woken up. Wake, waking. Waking up earlier. I'm, 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 you, you're, you're making me, you're confusing me. Is it, is it like, like, I don't remember like, the. Uh, levantarse. Uh, yes, I know, but is, is it wake? I think it's waken or woken. No, people, I'm confused. Yeah, I was confused. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, yes, it's yes. waking. It's okay. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I got confused. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. If you got it for your example, people continue. Me, teacher. Go. Thank you, Nelson. If you hadn't drunk beer, you would. You will drink the car. If you hadn't, repeat if it. you hadn't drunk, drunk beer, mm -hmm. you would, you would, would do, you, you would drive the car. Teacher? Driven the car. Driven the car. Yes. If you hadn't drunk beer, you would have you would have driven the car. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, it is correct. All right. People, we have from a verb, okay? Recordemos, el verbo va en pasado participio. Okay, in this case is driven. Drive, drove, driven. All right. Thank you for your example, Nelson. Excellent. Let's continue. People. Teacher. If uh, if 
Gloria had studied hard. She would have passed the exam. Gloria no pasó el examen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you for your example, Patricia. That was good. Ella, ella la que no pasaba. <laughs> We don't, I don't know. Yo nunca pasaba en la U, me sacaba uno, dos. Me saqué un cero una vez, me saqué un cero, pero me puso uno el profe porque el licenciado me puso uno porque por lástima. Pero sí me saqué un cero, un cero redondito, cero redondito, bonito el cero. In the university, people. In the university. Bien gordito, tío. Y bien, bien gordo. Y míreme ahora. And look at me now. <laughs> Life is life, life changes, you know. All right, people continue. Teacher, yes, Lord. I, I have an example. Okay, if if Maria Jose had had more sisters, she would have been happier. Yes, yes, okay. The example is perfect. Thank you, Lord, for your champ for that. I'm waiting for Ophelia, Julia. Hello, Susan. I have, Gladys. I have, I have my, my example, teacher. Okay, Rose, go. Uh, okay, I hope that is okay, but I have some problem. Okay, if the Avengers have assembled, they will have won the battle. Come again, please. Okay, I, I, I remember the movie when the Avengers say Avengers assemble. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. if the Avengers have assembled, have or had ha, had assembled have assembled, okay yeah had assembled they would have won the battle they will have yeah but they won the battle <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> thank you very much yeah. <laughs> okay all right all right we are ready to to go watch uh thor love and thunder all right people continue I have one, but I am I have a doubt. If yes. I had finished the report yesterday, I would have begun new activities. Yes. If I had finished, if I had finished, finished the report yesterday, I would have begun new activities. I would I would have begun begun is with you, okay, not with a begun. Begun. Okay. Begun. New activities. Okay. I would I would have begun with with sorry I forgot with with today's activities. Okay. Um. People continue. Uh, me teacher. Okay, if Pamela. My mom, no. If my mom had taken her sleeping medicine. She will have been better as well. Okay, yeah, there's there's some uh, microphone issue with your with you because I we cannot hear you. Uh, if, if you, you want, want, I can send you. That's exactly what I, I was about to say. That yes. Okay. And now now we can hear. I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go if ahead. my mom had taken her sleeping medicine, she would have been rested well. She would have rested. She would have rested, right? Well, okay. Thank you for your example, people. Is that it? Adriana, Guadalupe, Edwin. Wendy, hello, Anna. Okay, let me let me try. Okay. Okay, if if I have to travel tomorrow, mm -hmm. I will I will have love to go to Guatemala. Can you please repeat this example? <laughs> if I had, sorry. If I have to travel. If I have if to I travel. Had... Mm -hmm. If I have to travel like Jahar. Nope, nope, nope. That's not correct. It's not correct? Nope. 
Okay. Después, del had, uh, después del had, después del had, usamos un verbo en, en participio. Si usamos, if I had to travel, ok, si uh -huh. hubiera tenido que viajar, that's not, that's not, si hubiera, uh -huh, yeah. That would be the okay. first let, second conditional. Let me, let me think in another. Okay. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Please. I will, I sure will. Ok, anybody else? Guys, I'm waiting. Me, hey, teacher. Okay. If I had married 20 years ago, I could have had a son of 26 years. Okay. Oh. Your name, your your last name is is King Knows. Kid Knows. Uh huh. Reynosa. Reynosa. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that's, 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 yes, what, <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Are you okay? Yes, I like your creativity, teacher. Yeah, so very creative. It's bad, people. Look, look at this. Oh, here. <laughs> King knows. That's funny. King knows. Uh, yes, it's funny. It's the first time I, I listened to that. Sorry. No, no, it's, it's good. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> she's, she's laughing too much. Okay, people, we're going to stop because we, we have uh, time limitations. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. I have to check something here because I think we are going to... I think we're going to continue with the same... Uh, topic tomorrow. So I'm going to leave that, that activity from the book for tomorrow. And we're going to continue with the practice. So people, let's continue. Continue. I'm missing, I'm missing, me falta que, del ejemplo, Carla, Julia, Ofelia, Wendy. Uh, I'm missing Adriana, Adriana, and Guadalupe, Ernesto. Hi, me teacher. Go ahead, thank you. If she if she had made lunch early, she would have been able to go for dessert. She would have been sorry. She would have been able to go for dessert. Okay, okay. That's okay. People continue, continue. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ophelia. So, yeah, is a brother I has play soccer. Mm -hmm. And he is a, a cancha de football. Is my brother. Uh -huh. Continue, continue. Uh, my Sería, is my brother, I has soccer. Had play. play soccer. I have play soccer is a uh, cancha en inglés, como uh, so. In the field, in the field. In the field. If my brother had played soccer in the field, uh -huh. Omar. <clears throat> what is next? Is a, uh, a, uh, Companier, the whole. Sorry. Uh, is a company a uh, a companier is the whole. Okay, who will have seen his friends? Lea lo que pase, lo que mandé ahí en el chat. Okay, ya lo leo. <clears throat> As her form has sis is French. Hold on. Lo último que voy a mandar en este momento, eso, eso va a leer. Va, va a ser. The last thing, the last thing. Okay. If my brother. Is, is my brother, I had, has played. Has, has played, had played in plays, the field. I saw it in the first. Uh-huh. He his he would has have. We were 
has seen his friends. Friend. He would have seen his friends. Friend. Okay, excellent. People, I just remember, I just remember that this is about this this topic is kind of talking about regretting. Okay, regretting, guess. I don't remember. Arrepentimiento, arrepentirse. Okay, guys, we still have some time, okay? Go on, continue. I'm listening. For the ones that haven't participated yet, please, go ahead. Guys, hello. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, if she had driven carefully, she wouldn't have had an accident. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you for the, for the example. The example was perfect. Yes. Guys, continue. Okay. Now I have my example. Okay, now you're ready. Let, let, let me see. Uh, if you hadn't lied to me after, I don't know, before, I would have believed in you. I would have believed in you believe believe on you yes believed i would have believed in you or i, I would have believed you uh -huh. es, si no me hubiera, like, mentido, yes, yes. okay okay it's correct right teacher women lie man women lie to you <laughs> women come on that. teacher come on <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> no. Todas mienten, todas mienten. Other It's girls, like, not, not, not this, no, in this group. <laughs> ah, no, just play. Solo, solo jugamos, mentira. <laughs> all right, all right, that's, that's good, that's perfect. Okay, thank you, Edwin, for your example. I'm waiting for the rest. Guys? No? No more? Okay, then. Excellent. That's perfect. Now, I need you to... Did you let... There's a question in the chat. What chance did you get? Did you let slip? What chance did you let slip? Yes. Okay. It, this this question means que oportunidad o que chance dejaron pasar. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Then you will verbally verbally you're going to give me an example. Okay. Uh, my example is. <clears throat> if I had, if I had applied to public positions last year, I would have obtained one. Okay, that's my example. If I had applied to uh, public positions, I would have obtained one, but I didn't apply. So, yes, that's, I had the opportunity, I had the chance to apply for these public positions, but I didn't do it. So that's my example, okay? What about you guys? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Me. If I have saved more money, I will have I will have buy bought a better car. Okay, okay, but you didn't have more money, so that's not good. Sorry. <laughs> It's, it is sad. People continue. Yeah. 
if if I had been been careful, I wouldn't have have COVID right now. I wouldn't I wouldn't have had or I wouldn't have gotten I if I had careful. If I had been careful, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have caught. Okay, I wouldn't have caught COVID. I wouldn't have caught. Okay. okay. I wouldn't have caught. Oh, thank you. Continue. continue. No problem, Carla. Guys, continue. Hello, people. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you there? Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am, but I'm not going to give you the example. <laughs> That's what Susan was like. Yes, I am here, teacher, but I'm not going to give you an example. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I give opportunity to the other companions, the other people. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. Thank you for being so nice with people. <laughs> okay, that was good, that was good. Uh, if, yes. Yes, okay. If I had been more careful, I wouldn't have lost my cell phone. Okay, I wouldn't have lost my cell phone. Had been more careful. This example is, is for you, the one that I just sent to the chat. That's specifically for you guys. If my students had been more participative, they wouldn't have failed. So <laughs> it's your decision, guys. <laughs> All right. Let me, we, we have run out of time. I'm going to take attendance or I'm going to update the attendance list. And then we will be free to go to bed and sleep, rest, or whatever you want to do, okay? We are going to continue or talking about this tomorrow, okay? I just checked the, 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 the program, and we do continue dealing with, with the third conditional. Okay, so let me take attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Hello. Adriana Estefani Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Ana Selmi Cheves. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Uh, Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Present. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. You were not here yesterday, right? Jose, you were yes, not. Me, teacher. You were not in class yesterday. No, teacher. I had a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present, teacher. Carla Verónica Vasquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Uh, Luis Orlando Rodríguez. Here. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rosa Elena, yeah, yeah, right. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present, teacher. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. 
Present teacher. Suma Rosabra. Present. Flor de María Carballo. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina. Hey, present. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, Louis stayed. So the next person today, the next person is Nelson. Nelson, you stay. Usted se queda, Nelson. Uh, teacher, and now in the next class, I working. I not can. I'm sorry. Sorry? In, in the next class, in next class, I working in the... You mean, you mean tomorrow? Permita. Este, the next class, I I working in the Mañana. night. Tomorrow, right? No, and now. Yeah, oh, and, and right tomorrow now. I have. I can, tomorrow. I can. Okay, then uh, we're going to continue with, let me see. Who hasn't stayed? ¿Quién no se ha quedado? De, I'm going to say some names, okay? Hasta Luis voy a llegar. Ana Patricia, Adriana, Ana, Gabriela, Gloria, Guadalupe, José, Julia, Carla, Lourdes y Luis. ¿Quién no se ha quedado de los que dije? Who hasn't stayed? Me, teacher. <laughs> Ah, yes, it's, it's sorry. Like, like I said, well, okay. Okay. Sorry. You stay then. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow, Nelson. Thank next you, week. Lamina. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Tomorrow, Nelson. Next week, Ophelia. Así vamos. Así vamos. Okay. People, thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Sleep well. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 My computer is frozen. All right. Hi, Gabriela. Hi, teacher. Okay, Gabi. We have uh, some minutes to talk about your, your confusion or your problems with the topics or whatever you want to share with me. Um, well, <laughs> uh, in Spanish, English. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Perfect. No problem. Um, bueno, la verdad es que sí me, me han parecido bastante interactivas las clases, más su forma de enseñar, eh, con los ejemplos, y creo que está bastante pendiente de que todos estemos aprendiendo y de que todos participemos, ¿verdad? Así que eh, eso, y pues en dudas hasta el momento, quizás sí hay como algunos temas, por ejemplo, estos ahorita de los verbos que eh, probablemente deben de reforzarlos, pero por lo demás eh, estamos bien. Yes, eh, ese tema sí es un poquito más complejo. En la, me, me refiero a la estructura y auxiliar que es, es muy complicado. Y casi no se usa, fíjense, esa, esa estructura. Solo es porque para que esté ahí. <risa> pues casi no se usa. Sí. Okay. Y sí está un poco complicada, pero hoy fue solamente la introducción. Okay. Mañana veremos cómo, cómo la manejamos, porque okay. ya con un poquito más de, de, de conocimiento. Ok. Eso. Okay. Okay. So, do you want me to, to give you a brief explanation? No. Eh, no, eh, solo... De, quiero ver, tenía una duda con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Uh -huh. No sé hasta qué punto tendríamos que tener ya, porque del unidad 2 solo he completado una, una actividad. Eh, así está bien, está bien. De hecho, de hecho, vamos, aún estamos en la unidad 2. Quiere decir que no, no, aún estamos pa, pa, para hacer la, la, la actividad número 2 por semana 2. Uh -huh. Este, quiero ver cuando terminamos esto, quiero ver. Porque estaba viendo el libro y solo faltan dos páginas. Sí, terminamos. dos páginas, pero como, como en, en este nivel, 
en el medio son, son este, hay más hay más clases hay cinco cinco clases más entonces esas cinco, esas, esas clases que son esas cinco más las han incluido así entre entre medio de las otras me entiende que a veces hay días que trabajamos en el libro y hay días que no okay. Ya que, la, la, por ejemplo, el viernes pasado empezamos con el, con el first conditional. Y luego el lunes seguimos, también el martes y miércoles. Y hasta ahora es que cambiamos ya de, de tema. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. y por esa razón es que nos, nos hemos extendido un poco. Así que creo que ya para la siguiente semana sí ya sería buena idea tenerlo completado todo. Ah, ok. Eh, siempre el día que se termina la unidad, ese día hay que tener Ajá, todo. Básic, básicamente, básicamente. Aunque ah, usted, sí. si usted lo puede hacer, si usted lo puede hacer en este momento, cualquier día que tenga libre, lo puede hacer sin ningún problema, que hágalo. No hay problema, ¿ok? Ok. Sí. Ok. Ok, okay Gabriela, a, a todos les he preguntado, y, ¿do you have any suggestions? ¿Alguna sugerencia, recomendación para mejorar ciertos aspectos? Dígame. Bueno, eh, hasta el momento creo que, que quizás reforzar, bueno, el vocabulario siempre lo vemos, pero creo que siempre hay como algunas palabras un poco más técnicas uh -huh. eh, y creo que depende mucho del área en que cada uno nos desenvolvemos. Uh -huh. Así que, eh, no sé, quizás eso, reforzar un poco y en temas como este que vimos ahora, tal vez los, los verbos, algunos tiempos, eh, conjugaciones, es. Ok. Let me see what I can do for tomorrow, ok. I'm going to do magic. <laughs> ok. All right. Thank you, Gabriela, for staying. I will see you tomorrow, ok. Take care. Que see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.